and welcome back to the average today we have 112 colors of jelly gouache which is absolutely insane because how does 112 colors fit in here you may ask well it's because oh gosh that's really loud uh, i don't know if that really reveals it very well well it's because they're all double color jelly which is awesome so if you can see here we're gonna have double everything and uh yeah i want to just empty these out to show you quickly <laughs> mistakes were made look at all these crazy colors I really love jelly gouache, as you guys may or may not know. You might be new here. Hi, I'm Steph. I'm new here. But these are jelly gouache, and uh, I absolutely hate, hate taking these plastic bits off. So let's just fast forward to me having done that, and we can get on with painting. Okay? Thank you. Okay, not to be dramatic but my hand actually hurts from pulling all these things off. <laughs> so let's get down to it. I am using Aquarelle Arches watercolor uh, block, um, cold press, 300, whatever you want to call it. And today I just thought I would do like Studio Ghibli scene, just take it easy, you know, just relax and draw and do a little Gigi painting because why not? But the only thing is, my thumb hurts now. <laughs> Usually I don't sketch out, but today I just wanted to sketch this out because I think it makes more sense to just try and sketch it first. Because with gouache, I can go over it and just like eliminate the lines, which is very nice. So with watercolor, it would be the case of not being able to erase these lines because the watercolor would be under it so you would have to like use the uh, kneaded eraser to just kind of pick up those lines but i'm thinking this is what i want to do kind of in my style maybe and i haven't painted in what feels like years because I took a break and I've recently just gotten back into doing art again because I was just super depressed and couldn't do any art which is like really sucks um, as that's something you know <laughs> I'm passionate about but now we're back we're back and we're ready to paint some Studio Ghibli with some lovely new gouache set which I'm very happy about because all my other gouache is in storage uh, hoping I'm hoping that it's okay in storage um, we'll see when it comes out <laughs> fingers crossed okay I finished my sketch so what I want to do now I don't know because I never sketch underneath using gouache so I think what I'll do is just Use the kneaded eraser a little bit so it doesn't like muddy the colors too much and then just go for it and see what happens. Uh, I think the sketch isn't like super accurate to what I wanted to draw, but it's gonna be fun to test out the wash on this painting. So let's get started. And also like, It's going to be really interesting to use these double colors because there's so many I can use so let's see I can probably be able to mix a few because I want to get the shadows right that you know this Studio Ghibli shadows that they do really well so let's do that I think GG sketch looks a little bit weird so I might redo that a little bit I think his eyes look a bit too small but yeah this is the process
And this is kind of the final look for now. I'll probably still work on this in the background because I think there's a lot more that I could do to it. I'm just running out of time at the moment. I need to upload this video and uh, don't want to disappoint you guys. So if you want to see how this completely turns out, although this is probably pretty finalized, then follow me on the socials below and uh, yeah, I'll probably post loads of stuff there. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching me test out these gouache paints. I absolutely love them as usual. Himmy gouache always just does the job for me. I just really like using them. They're super smooth and I enjoy them. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you like this video and uh, see you next time. Okay, bye. Thank you.